Hello everyone, I am going to show you how we can modify these aero bars in Hexagon Designer. So here we have a design, okay, we've loaded the part in, it's been created in a, a different CAD system. Um, but what we want to do is change it so these are actually 40 millimeters shorter. And we are able to do that in Hexagon CAD for CAM, so Hexagon Designer software. These are the original uh, parts which have been loaded in and these are the modified ones, okay? So they are 40 millimeters shorter. So if I just show um, one of these and we can do a comparison of the difference, okay? Um, if we do a measurement, for example, and we zoom into this region here we can say we measure from here to here you can see we've got the difference but you'll see that the design where it's important is the same all the way up until that point okay so we can verify that by using our analysis tools if we do a compare function for example Set our first body and our second body. I can choose to show both. You can see that the parts are identical until this region here. And that was because I was able to cut out um, this region here, okay, as shown on the other body. Okay, so I'm going to Start from the beginning and show you how we can do that. So because these two parts are identical, I actually only need to work on one of them. So I'll hide the other one for now. Um, if we have a look at the orientation, you can see that this part isn't really aligned particularly well um, according to the current work plane. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I start doing any modeling is to create myself a brand new work plane. And I can do that by simply using the create work plane command and snapping to this vertices here on top of the model. Okay, so when I now view down the top, okay, you can see we've got a nice good orientation and you know from the side as well. It's looking a lot nicer. So I'm gonna work from the top. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is cut that section out that I want to remove and I will do that using my cut bodies command. So I need to select my body to cut and then choose the area that I want to remove from my part. So I want to make a couple of different cuts, okay? So I'm going to first of all cut um, here along my work plane or I could come a little bit further down. So let's choose cutting by points. Um, and I'm going to pick here and then I can choose to actually make multiple cuts. Uh, so if I come in here and I'm going to choose to cut somewhere up here, it gives us a nice big transition. Um, and you can see if I rotate my model there, the region that I'm going to be removing from the part. So I can put a nice uh, new transition in there. So when I apply that command, you can see that I've got this extra bit and I can just cut it out. So first thing that I need to do, of course, is do a transform and move this guy um, in negative 40 millimeters, like so. And that brings me to a better place. Uh, so now I want to actually, these are solid bodies you can see from my tree and I, I actually want to convert them to, to surface bodies so I can join them all together eventually. So to do that, I can uh, use my remove face tool. I'm gonna hold down the control key so I can select multiple and I'm gonna just remove those guys, okay, like so. 
Um, so now I just need to join them back together. And so in order to do this, I'm going to use my tangent surfaces command. I'm going to use tangent edges. I've got the angular deviation set to five, tolerance set to uh, 0.01. And I'm going to choose my star edge. I'm going to hit the space bar to change the direction. And I'm going to select all those three edges here. Okay, so now I need to select the corresponding edges on the other side and I can do the same thing and you can see that the surface gets created like so. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. So all I'm going to do now, okay, is rather than model the other um, surfaces, just to show something different, I'm going to use the mirror function. And the mirror plane point can be anywhere on that surface. I want to make sure I'm mirroring in the Y direction and I want to do a copy so that we have a complete part. OK. Um, and then I can simply uh, apply that. Like so. Obviously, we've got um, individual sheet bodies. So I can uh, show that to you. So what we need to do is then join them all together using our sew sheets command. So I do my sew sheets and select all. You can see that we've turned that into a nice solid body command. All right. And essentially that is how you go from the original aero bar to a very similar error bar, but uh, one that is actually 40 millimeters shorter, which was the requirement that was requested. Um, okay, so of course we could always then model that over. So if I then reactivate my absolute work plane, choose my mirror function, I would want to say, let's select this guy here, I want to mirror it, mirror it and do a copy. Um, but the mirror plane point is I'm going to select two points, okay? And I'm going to say, let's use the center of that guy. And we'll do the center of that guy. Uh, like I said, I need to mirror it in the Y direction. And then you can see that we've got him positioned in exactly the right spot. And that is how you go. And let's just do the, the validation at the end just to complete the circle. We'll do a compare between this one and this one. Go both. So of course, we've got the, uh, the important details stayed the same. However, we've made it shorter. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and do a measurement. Let's just bring back those internal edges and do a measure from here to here. Just to validate that that is a difference of 40 mil, which is what I set out to do. Thank you very much for watching.